Hi everybody, this is Mr Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you okay? I hope so. Are you happy? I hope you are happy today. I'm not feeling too bad even though I am suffering at the moment from hay fever. Once more, I am sadly suffering from the dreaded pollen in the air. Yes, there is pollen everywhere and it's going up my nose and it's making me sneeze quite a lot however before you worry it isn't anything else I can assure you that it isn't okay 
so it isn't that. Don't ask, Mr. Duncan, are you okay? Have you caught something? Please stay healthy. I'm okay, I'm 100% healthy. Unfortunately, every year I am affected by hay fever. So that's what's happening at the moment. That is the reason why my voice sounds very sexy. One thing I've noticed whenever I get hay fever, it always makes my voice sound very sexy. I could be one of those people who who does the the voiceover, who provides the voice on movie trailers. Coming soon to a cinema near you. She thought it was just another night alone. Little did she know that someone else was there waiting in the shadows. Do you like that? So if anyone needs a very deep, sexy voice for their productions or their videos, you can give me a call right now and say, Mr. Duncan, we like your deep, sexy voice. Could you please come and provide <laughs> your voice to us? And well, I will do it. I will do it. I don't mind. It's all right. I have lots of free time at the moment. I don't know if you've noticed. But at the moment, <laughs> we all seem to have a lot of free time. We have a lot of time on our hands so hello to the live chat i'm trying to see my phone but unfortunately <laughs> all it is doing is reflecting the sun into my eyes so let's see if we can see the live chat oh yes there it is hello and congratulations to anna lewis and also sally anna lewis Sally, guess what? You are first on today's live chat. Nice to see you here again. A big hello to everyone watching wherever you happen to be in the world. My name is Mr. Duncan. People call me Duncan. Sometimes people call me that annoying idiot on the internet. My neighbours have many words and names that they like to call me. Some people say stinky pants. Some people say that weirdo at the top of the hill. It's not very nice, is it? I would expect better from my neighbours, to be honest. So Anna, Lewis and Sally, well done. You are first on today's live stream. I want to give you a round of applause. So here we go. So this is my best effort to give you all a lovely round of applause and a big welcome as well. Hooray! That's it. That's as good as it gets today, I'm afraid. So here we are again. Yes, it's Wednesday. Wednesday, the 22nd of April, 2020. If you say it fast, it doesn't sound so bad. 2020. <laughs> what year is it? It's 2020. <clears throat> we don't want to talk about 2020. Next year, I have a feeling in 2021, people won't want to talk about this year at all we will all we will all try to forget about it we will try to erase it from our memories i think that's what will happen hello to everybody it's nice to see you again hello also to mika mika is here as well i know we have a lot of people watching in vietnam as well at the moment so hello to everyone as well Hello also Belarusia, I have a feeling you are looking after your father today, so can I wish you and also your father well too. Hello to TS, hi TS, nice to see you here as well. Moshen, Moshen or Mohen, can I send a link to a video? Uh, no. <laughs> is the answer to that question <laughs> queen queen truck how is your country at the moment my country is okay 
the weather is lovely I don't know why but since the beginning of April we've had the most amazing weather the only problem is this sort of weather encourages everyone into their garden to use their very noisy tools so you might hear some people using their very noisy lawn mowers they are cutting their grass they are doing lots of things in the garden because the weather is nice and also they have nothing else to do we are all still in lockdown here in the UK so it's still continuing here it looks as if things are slowly going to be relaxed over the next couple of weeks but very slowly for example here in much Wenlock they 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 are going to reopen the farmers market so that apparently is going to open this week so on Friday apparently the farmers market here in much Wenlock is going to open again can you believe it Anna says there in England it is almost summer here in Italy it seems like autumn I can't believe it we have been so lucky I don't know why but the weather here has been amazing since the beginning of April hello to Irene hello Husna hello Radhesham where are you mr. Duncan where am I I am right here now standing in my garden on a Wednesday afternoon this is live from England it definitely is it is now coming up to 14 minutes past two o'clock on a Wednesday afternoon and my name is Duncan I teach English on YouTube I make lots of video lessons and recently <laughs> I have been doing a lot of live streams as well so I am spending my time in isolation just like you are so this is something interesting to do this is something that will keep us all occupied for a while until everything returns to normal however yesterday some people were talking about whether or not we should all return to normal because apparently <laughs> in many big cities the pollution levels have actually dropped quite a lot since people have stopped going out in their cars so because there are fewer people around there are fewer vehicles driving about which means there is less pollution so some people are saying that this this is how we should be living so maybe we should all be living in isolation all the time and then maybe the world will be a little healthier who knows who knows Palmyra is here hello to you Palmyra Jose is watching in Spain hello Jose nice to see you here as well can I just apologize in advance just in case I start sneezing yesterday if you were watching yesterday I did have a little sneeze yesterday because the pollen in the air was going into my nose and you might be able to hear also it is on my throat now so my throat is also being affected by my hay fever which is quite awkward really because I need my voice I need it I must have my voice it is my twinkle it is my life it is everything it really is hello also to Mamia Mamia Khan hello from Kazakhstan in our capital it is a very sunny day a very can you hear what's happening to my voice <clears throat> it is a very sunny day in Kazakhstan <laughs> you know I might have to go back into the house and then put a video on maybe I can show some full English lessons instead of standing here croaking like a sleepy frog maybe maybe I should hello Yasir hello Mr Duncan hello Irene hello Luigi hello Luigi in Italy we are starting to see a glimmer of hope glimmer so when we say glimmer hmm, there was a little spider on my hat He's gone now when we say glimmer it means there is a sign a very small sign an indication something good 
might be coming our way yes so there is a glimmer of hope that things might be returning not necessarily to normal I think normal is a very long way off however things might be changing for the better in the future I really hope so Partridge Eves who is the founder of Hat for Rent Productions and does it still exist well I am the founder <laughs> I, I created the name Hat for Rent Productions whilst I was still in China it was just something that was in my brain and I thought it was a, a funny name so there that is it please answer my question please a lot of people yesterday were accusing me of ignoring them can I just say I don't ignore people on the live chat however if there are many people chatting sometimes I can't see all of the messages so please don't accuse me <laughs> of being prejudiced racist xenophobic ignorant I am none of those things so if I don't answer your question or if I don't say hello it doesn't mean I'm ignoring you it just means I didn't see your message so please please don't get angry with me I'm having enough difficulty sleeping at night <laughs> last night I couldn't sleep I really couldn't I found it so hard to sleep last night because I was sneezing I was feeling very uncomfortable in my throat and my stomach was also feeling quite unusual last night I had a very poorly stomach as well I don't know what's going on so I feel okay today even though I'm slightly tired because this morning I was sitting in my lounge by the window watching the sun rise and I couldn't get to sleep so it, it didn't make me feel very good not a very good start to the day and as you can hear now my throat is also a little rough as well I have tried all sorts of things there are many remedies many things that people say you must take this for your hay fever or maybe you can try that for your hay fever I sometimes have a little bit of honey or maybe something very sweet or maybe something very medicinal perhaps sometimes you can take tablets as well the only problem is if I take tablets it makes me very drowsy and I start to fall asleep which is not a good idea when you are streaming live to the world Florence you are lucky to have a beautiful house with that beautiful garden thank you very much I always think I'm very lucky a lot of people think I am some sort of millionaire can I just say now I'm not <laughs> I'm not a millionaire trust me when I say that I am not I am definitely not a millionaire <laughs> but I do agree with you yes it's quite nice here I live in the countryside and sometimes it is lovely and quiet but not today because you might be able to hear there are people cutting their grass Quinn truck do you go outside during this time we are allowed to go outside we can move around it is allowed so we can do it it's not a problem however we can't get too close to each other so we have to keep our social distancing we have to stay far apart from other people hello also to Florence again hello Florence I am going to say hello to you in a moment Florence I am going to give you a very special mention do you know why I'm sure you do mm, yes yes it is a little bit windy today so excuse me if my paper keeps blowing away can I say a big thank you to the following people and there it is now I hope you can see it all right a big thank you to Marta also Wilson 
and Florence as well can I say a big thank you to you all a big thank you for your very kind donation I will do it again so you can see it clearly there it is I think that is better thank you once again to Marta Wilson and also Florence for your lovely kind donations I feel very honored that you like watching my live streams and also I appreciate your donations as well because everything I do I do for free <laughs> even when my voice is starting to disappear because of hay fever I will try to be here with you so there it is thank you Marta Granados Wilson Pimentel and also Florence Robassa and there at the bottom also at the bottom you can see there is the address of my PayPal if you want to make a donation as well you are more than welcome to do so and that will allow my work to continue forever and ever and ever thank you very much once again thank you I do appreciate it so the big question is what are we talking about today lots of things to talk about we'll be talking about words and phrases connected to ability also words and phrases connected to the word turn we will be looking at <laughs> we will be looking at some idioms as well if my voice survives of course if my voice does not fall to pieces hello Constantine oh hello Constantine nice to see you back again haven't seen you for a while hello also to Rosa I am Rita and I am in Brazil and my ancestors were Italian so hello Rosa I like your name by the way it sounds like Rose because in English or here in the UK we often have people who are called Rose Rose so it is a beautiful name a very nice name there are not many names that are named after flowers so I suppose there is the one I just said Rose but there aren't many others Ivy oh yes Ivy is another name which is also a type of plant Ivy hmm. there aren't many men's names so men normally don't have the names of flowers <laughs> can you imagine that if a man was called daffodil hello hello everyone hello uh, I like to play rugby at the weekend and also I like to go to the pub with my friends drinking beer my name is daffodil or maybe tulip can you imagine a man called tulip tulip hello Monty hello Mohi Mohi Ali also Hamza is here as well also Florence you are so nice to say the different names of the people who donated money that's very nice of you if you are taking your time and if you are making donations it is very kind of you and I will always try my best to mention your names so that's the reason why I do it top secret oh hello top secret once again Daisy oh yes of course there is another one isn't there Daisy is also the name that is sometimes given to a girl a girl's name that is named after a flower Daisy I suppose you can also call a cow Daisy as well a lot of people give cows <laughs> that name female cows <laughs> Daisy hello Haklau today I am exhausted because of my exercises I hope you've had a good workout 
it is important during this time to make sure you get plenty of exercise get plenty of movement to make sure your body does not become unfit i suppose a lot of us at the moment are eating a lot of food i know i am yes i am eating a lot of food so i wouldn't be surprised if over the next couple of weeks i might start putting a little bit of weight on my body oh dear yasia says your voice is not good you are right <laughs> i have a little bit of hay fever at the moment so i have been suffering from hay fever for the past couple of days so all of the small pollen from the flowers has been going up my nose and it's not very nice to be honest it isn't very nice hello mr duncan how lovely to see you healthy again i feel all right not too bad thank you very much i can't complain i suppose hello of gun of good music thank you very much for joining me as well adrian is here hello mr duncan here we have marguerite oh yes marguerite also iris ah yes that's another one i didn't think of that name iris is also a name that you can give to a girl that is also a flower iris it is also part of your eye as well so the outside of your eye where the color is is called iris it is your iris it opens and it closes your iris also part of a camera as well is called an iris it is the thing that allows light into the camera it adjusts the exposure of the camera or the light that is going into the camera hello Ari Dawn oh yes Dawn is a great name so again a girl's name you can call a girl Dawn I like that very good <laughs> I don't know why in the morning when I wake up the air is very calm and there is no wind but for some reason just before I come on the wind starts blowing strongly I don't know why how can I say please how can I say please asks Hamza what do you mean how can I say please you say please by saying please please hello to Irene hello also to Fred Florence and Yvonne welcome Sicy hello Mr Duncan it's my birthday I love the names of the month such as April one of my sisters is called April do you know why <laughs> do you know why my sister is called April <laughs> I will give you a clue I will give you a clue why my sister is called April because she was born in April that's why I suppose it was obvious really wasn't it it was quite obvious I think so hello also to Russian boy hello Russian boy your camera glares does it really well I have a lot of sunlight behind me you see I am enjoying some lovely sunshine today so that is the reason why you might have a little bit of glare a little bit of brightness on your screen because today it is very sunny outside very sunny indeed hello twan mr duncan i am a big fan of you thank you very much it's very kind of you to say during this time i have had many moments where i've been thinking about things hello mr robin <laughs> hello hello there's a little robin it's landed right next to me in the tree hello <laughs> it's actually watching me hello mr robin how are you today i have a little feeling that you are about to fly away 
I think so. So I've had a lot of time to think up ideas. I've had many thoughts and some of my thoughts have turned to business. Maybe creating my own business or maybe having my own ideas to make something that has never been made before. Would you like to see my ideas? I have some great ideas for Mr. Duncan's new businesses. The things that I've been thinking about whilst in lockdown. Would you like to see them? OK. So here we go. These are my my thoughts and ideas for businesses <laughs> during lockdown. So here we go on the screen right now. So my business ideas. First of all, <laughs> here's a good idea for a business. I could make yes can you see that I can make tea bag stories so when you are waiting for your tea or your water to boil you can look at your tea bag you can actually look at your tea bag and maybe you can read a little story that is on the tea bag so whilst you are sitting or standing waiting for the water to get hot perhaps you can read a story that is on your tea bag like this so there is my prototype so that is my idea so maybe you could have a little story on the tea bag whilst you are waiting for the water to get hot or maybe you are doing other things at the same time you could pick up your tea bag and you could read a little story that is on the front of the tea bag in fact you could have a story on both sides of the tea bag so that is one of my ideas i call it my story tea bag or my tea bag story and on the side of the tea bag there is a little story that you can read whilst you are waiting for the water to get hot so that is one of my ideas I think it's a brilliant idea to be honest I think it will I think it's a brilliant idea <laughs> what do you think is it a good idea to have stories or things written on the side of tea bags so that is my idea I don't want anyone to steal that idea from me I think it's a brilliant idea and also, do you like what I've written on the tea bag? It is a little bit of Shakespeare. <laughs> it says, to tea or not to tea? That is the question. <laughs> you see what I did there. Okay. Hello to Luis Mendez. Luis Mendez is here today. Unfortunately, my, my voice isn't feeling too good today, for which I apologise. I do apologize thank you very much oh another idea that I've had here's my other idea I've had some brilliant brilliant ideas so here is my other idea if I can find it come on mr. Duncan hurry up get a move on we haven't got all day I would like to do something that is environmentally friendly I would like to create a business that is sustainable something that I can make or something that I can produce and sell that I can constantly make again and again and again what better than cultivating my eyebrows so I'm sure there are lots of people out there who are not happy with their eyebrows. So what I would do, I will actually take my eyebrows off. I will remove them and I will put them on a piece of plastic. And then I can send them to you and you can actually have my eyebrows on your face. But the good thing is my eyebrows will grow back. 
so I can actually have some more eyebrows that I can send to you so maybe you want eyebrows that are a little darker or maybe a little more manly mm. so that's that's another one of my business ideas eyebrow cultivation I will send you my eyebrows and then you can wear them but the good thing about it is they are sustainable so my eyebrows will come back so for every eyebrow that I sell to you there will be a new eyebrow that will come back afterwards and then I can send another one or maybe two if you want two eyebrows maybe you just want one of them the only problem is of course I cannot guarantee that your eyebrows will do this I can't guarantee that not at all in fact these are bizarre businesses but I think they are a brilliant idea so maybe you could read a story on the side of a tea bag or maybe you could buy my eyebrows if you want to have your own eyebrows maybe you want a moustache so you can also use my eyebrows as a moustache so maybe you can have them on your face under your nose so not only can you use my eyebrows as eyebrows you can also use them as a little moustache good idea I think it's a brilliant idea I know what you're saying mr. Duncan no one will ever accept those ideas but who knows who knows a few years ago people would have laughed if you had said that you can let strangers come and stay in your house and walk around and use all of your your furniture <laughs> but here we are now we have Airbnb which is where you do exactly that you just let strangers come into your house they give you some money and then you say oh come round then here are the keys go and spend some time in my house so I suppose a few years ago people may have thought that that was a crazy idea you see yes you see so eyebrow cultivation I can sell my eyebrows and of course it is sustainable it means that I can continue doing it and it is also environmentally friendly it is definitely hello to Constantin mr. Duncan the soundtrack of your live streams are always so mel melodious or melodious thank you very much it is a little bit like listening to a song maybe it has a tune it is almost like it is almost like listening to a song hello life blogger hello life blogger why do you keep asking the same question I've already answered the question do you have in your area the answer is yes of course <laughs> everyone has it nearby so here where I live there are people who are affected there are people around the world and quite likely where you are or maybe near to where you are so the answer to your question again <laughs> is yes <laughs> but I don't have it myself there are people who think I have it but I don't have it what I have at the moment is hay fever so all of the horrible pollen that is affecting my nose and also my my voice as well besides that I feel fantastic I feel on top of the world hello Jean you should be a Muslim okay that's an interesting suggestion thank you very much thank you Chandan hello sir I always see your videos after the live streaming well Chandan guess what you are here whilst it is live so yes I am talking to you now live it is now 19 minutes away from three o'clock Wow. Hello also Anapika. 
hello also Anna Rita tea bags like chocolates called Bacchio by Poringa they have phrases of famous authors written on the paper of the packaging has someone stolen my idea already huh? I can't believe it I only mentioned it a few minutes ago and already I think someone has already stolen my idea I can't believe it <laughs> hello from Birmingham oh hello Birmingham nice to see you here today Ivar's Ivar's Pack Packles is watching hello from Birmingham in the UK I don't know why but today I am wearing my boots and I really don't know why I am wearing my big heavy boots but I'll I will tell you one thing they are really hurting my feet so in a moment I might actually take my <laughs> I might take my boots off because my feet are hurting how led chow hello how hi everybody I am Dun hello mr. Duncan you are a really amazing teacher I have been watching your YouTubes for such a long time since 2008 Wow I can't remember exactly but I think it is 2008 2008 that's incredible so you've been watching me for around 12 years on on Trump some big businesses were coming with stupid ideas who knows you should get the copyright mr. Duncan you should get the copyright I think so human beings by the way there are people who donate their hair so you can actually buy wigs that are made from real hair from people so other people will give their hair and then they will use it as wigs quite often for people who are undergoing treatment for cancer so maybe they are having chemotherapy which will cause their hair to fall out so yes if you can have another person's hair from their head I'm sure you can have their eyebrows as well I'm sure you can I don't think it's a good I don't think it's a stupid idea I think it's a brilliant idea Lena says today we should be saying happy birthday to Lenin happy birthday to Lenin happy birthday to Lenin I really did enjoy your songs especially imagine no is that the wrong Lenin oh I see the other Lenin Russia Russia yes Russia Lenin okay not the Beatles Lenin that's a different one anyway Lena I hope you enjoy the birth and the birthday of Lenin mr. Duncan you are so funny with your different ideas I have another idea at this moment during this strange time many celebrities many singers are releasing their own songs I think and this is another idea that I had last night whilst I was coughing my lungs up wouldn't it be good to have just one song so every time there is a problem or a disaster in the world we can sing the same song but every time we get a different person to sing it so we have the same song but we get a different singer to sing it so every time there is a problem or a disaster maybe we need to raise money for charity for a really good cause instead of having different songs and lots of different singers maybe we could just have the same song every time but each time there is a problem we can get a different person to sing the song what do you think of that is that a good idea I think that's a brilliant idea because there are too many charity songs there are too many people producing and releasing their charity music we need one person and one song every time or else it just gets too confusing to be honest 
it just gets too confusing hello marina thank you for joining me also we have rad Rydal. hello radel mr duncan your place is very good it is quite nice today i will be honest with you the weather is quite nice here in england at the moment hello shirley shirley germany successo total hello shirley hi mr duncan i missed you so much in the past few days it wasn't possible for me to watch your previous live streams but today today i'm here and i'm very happy to be part of your english lessons again you are welcome i am happy to be here if you are happy to see me then i am happy to be here with you that sounds like a very good arrangement to be honest mural hello Miran singh hello Miran singh love from india hello a big hello to you Miran Rinal singh watching in india hello also to ong trun as well nice to see you back again also lil mr duncan you are not a dream catcher i don't know if it is the correct translation <laughs> oh you are mr duncan you are a dream catcher thank you very much i don't know why sometimes i think maybe my brain has been put in the wrong way round so i think maybe my brain is not the right way round or maybe it is upside down Yeah. hello marina hello also to mvn where are you right now mr duncan right now i'm standing in my garden in england in the united kingdom and i'm live in the sunshine during this very weird time i know in some countries i know in some countries there are people now who are starting to go back to work some shops are also starting to open in the united states they are trying to get people to go back to work they are trying to get people to have a more normal existence so it is happening people are slowly going back to work and things are returning not completely but they are slowly returning to normal <laughs> Jean Valjean asks what do you think about Islam and Muslim people I have no problem with Islam or Muslim people or Christians or Catholics or Jewish people or Scientologists or Buddhists or even if you believe in the flying spaghetti monster I have no problem at all if it makes you happy if it makes your day lovely and sunny if it makes your day as sunny as this then good luck that's all i say good luck to you i'm not religious myself i don't follow any religions i don't have any religion i don't pray i don't look up in the sky and whisper into my hands so i don't do that but if you do it's okay and i hope you will respect me as much as i respect you yeah exactly tolerance and respect is a two-way thing it doesn't just go one way you see it is two ways two ways i love your humor mr duncan thank you very much you have very very perfect pronunciation says sport faza thank you very much it's very kind of you to say that thank you hello also to how hello how again yes of course my english was very poor but after 12 years it has changed so much thank you very much thank you i do love receiving your messages and emails over the past couple of days oh my goodness i have so many email messages 
so there are some people who are asking why why did you read my email did you read it sometimes my email box becomes very full and at the moment it is very full I'm getting a lot of messages asking if I'm okay I have a lot of messages from people asking if I have I don't I can safely say that I don't have it okay yes <laughs> Anna Pika oh Anna has been looking at my clothes I noticed at the start of today's live stream Mr. Duncan you are wearing shorts I know it's very unusual you will not often see me wearing shorts today I am wearing shorts I am also wearing a great big heavy pair of boots and I don't know why am I crazy am I crazy why am I wearing a big pair of heavy boots I don't need to and they are starting to hurt my feet If you start putting your message too often on the live chat you will have to be slowed down because other people want to say things as well <laughs> partridge mr duncan please tell me what i should do to learn or speak english i am talking about contents what do you mean by contents i don't know what you mean by contents maybe you mean context contents I don't really know what you mean by that so maybe you mean the words or the phrases learning English is something you do slowly you can't rush it there is no magic way of learning English I know there are teachers on YouTube who promise to give you all of the English in half an hour or an hour but they're lying unfortunately they are not being honest Andy Starr says when making your choice in life don't neglect to live I remember your lessons yes well I think life is there to be taken to be used it is something that you have it is something that is given to you every day that's why we call it the present you see I like that so in the morning when I open my eyes I always have a smile on my face I open my curtains I listen to the birds and I think to myself wow I get to do this all over again I get another one of these another day of life to live and enjoy so yes it is great it is very hard to be miserable when you really appreciate the value of life and and yes you are right life is there to live experience seize the day ah oh, i like that one seize the day take it make it yours it is yours lena i think lena wants to talk about politics today lenin gave me freedom from those terrible capitalists <laughs> like me that's not fair <laughs> well if it again if it makes you happy no problem <laughs> Kagri hello Mr Duncan I am a student in Turkey oh hello Turkey I've been to your country I have been there twice I've been to Turkey in the past I don't know what you do I'm a student in Turkey I have been following you and your channel for a short time so I I don't know what you do maybe tell us a little bit about what you do well as I explained at the start of today's lesson I teach English I talk about the English language I don't teach in the same way as other people there are many people on YouTube who will stand in front of a whiteboard and they will point at the words I don't do that I do something slightly different and I've been doing this for almost 14 years on YouTube 
so I have been doing it for a long time so that is what I do basically so my lessons are designed for you to listen to learn new words you can also read the captions yes you can have captions on the screen even on my live lessons so if you click C C on your keyboard just press C don't put it on the live chat just press the button and then the captions will appear as if by magic hello Lee again please can you say to me and let me know that I'm not alone you are not alone we are all sharing our isolation time together so I'm having to stay at home I can't go very far away from my house so I'm doing exactly the same thing as you are we are sharing this strange time together hello also to mr. dunking <laughs> is your name mr. dunking you are you are nearly right <laughs> mr. Duncan however dunking is something you can do when you put your biscuit in your tea so if you are having a nice cup of tea you can dunk your biscuit in the tea it's true it's English baby it's English hello Anna just like a magic prayer that we would sing together I like it yes I think if we have maybe a disaster or maybe there is a crisis and we, we need to raise a lot of money for something that has happened and something that is affecting a lot of people maybe we could have one song but each time a different person sings the song hello Mosen I'm very happy to see you teacher thank you very much it's very kind of you to say so I'm happy to be here and I'm also happy to know that you're happy to know that I'm happy that you're happy that I'm here I think Francesca says I would like to have a party in that garden with you guys yes especially today I think today is a great day to have a party or maybe a picnic in the garden so yes I think you're right how says you are please you must never give up mr. Duncan 14 years on YouTube teaching English is really wonderful what no one else is able to do thank you for your channel it's okay thank you very much as well I will do this if you want me to as long as you want me to do this I will do it if you don't want me to do it I will stop doing it it's as simple as that really to be honest I can hear voices behind you there might be some voices because there are people walking down behind the house so behind the house sometimes you might hear people walking behind the house do you think it isn't too early to open some things I'm not sure what that is about hi there teacher I like all your lessons Twan J hello Twan where are you watching at the moment I have a feeling you might be watching in Vietnam am I right maybe good morning mr. Duncan you are having a beautiful day in England yes it's not too bad actually we are having a glorious day it is a little bit windy once again we are having a little wind come to think of it I'm having a little bit of wind as well <laughs> hello mr. Duncan thanks so much for your lovely live streams in this lovely day during this these lovely days here in Glasgow in Scotland hello to Glasgow hi Glasgow how are 
how are things in Scotland is the weather nice in Scotland right now Ahmed says hats off mr. Duncan hats off when we say hats off we mean congratulations it is a way of saying congratulations well done you have done very well I am very impressed hats off to you Jazuli says you are a good man mr. Duncan and we like you so much thank you that's very nice thank you very much indeed <laughs> don't forget if you like this don't forget to give me a thumbs up like and if you want you can also subscribe as well I'm just wondering whether my voice is going to last for another hour I'm not sure I hope so so now you can see the time in the UK it is just after three o'clock here in the UK I suppose I should do a little bit of word explaining is that a good idea but first of all can I please take my boots off I'm wearing very big boots and I don't know why but I am so I'm going to take my boots off and then I'm going to come back so just give me a moment while I change my footwear okay back in a moment don't go away don't go away don't go away that is better oh nice now I have the fresh air gently blowing across my feet oh <laughs> that feels so much better it really does <laughs> Yasir says Ramadan is coming do you know anything about Ramadan well I know that is the important festival when I was in Malaysia because Malaysia is a very interesting country because it is also Islamic but also they have many other people living there with different faiths and I remember many years ago when I was in Malaysia I was staying there and they had the Chinese New Year and also I think it was the Eid at the same time so it, it exactly the same time they were celebrating these two festivals at the same time it was very interesting so yes I I do know a little bit about it hello to <laughs> interesting I don't know what's happening to me I think whenever I am trying to send messages so many times what the beep is happening thank you partridge nothing is happening you have asked your question and I have answered it I did actually answer your question so nothing is going on nothing is happening nothing secret is happening so don't worry about it do not worry Helena hello Helena thank you very much for your donation Helena Blair has left a lovely donation on the live chat thank you very much you are welcome 
Pedro Plaza hi mr. Duncan nice to hear you today best wishes from Spain a big hello to Spain I know at the moment you are being affected like many parts of Europe at the moment so I hope you are keeping well and you are staying well and safe where you are thank you very much for joining me today Yukio I am jealous of your beautiful garden you can come here you are more than welcome to come to my garden the only thing is you will have to do some work in the garden <laughs> you might have to do a little bit of work and you might also have to watch mr. Steve and myself sitting watching you working so yes you can come to the garden but you will have to do a little bit of work I hope you don't mind <laughs> Christina learning any language depends on time that you spend doing it yes this is what I always say I think sometimes when you learn something new you expect everything to happen very quickly unfortunately in reality it doesn't happen like that unfortunately it doesn't happen like that you need motivation you need to make sure you have time to do it don't rush do it every day so if you want to learn English if you want to learn English well you have to do it every day listen read and also speak as well so these things are very important and you slowly build on these things day by day slowly you can't do it quickly it cannot be rushed hello Quran Kareem how is gives you your life can you answer I'm not quite sure what you mean by that do you mean life or live maybe you are talking about the live stream or maybe you are talking about life itself wow that is a big subject a very big subject I'm sure someone will accuse me of avoiding it but I'm not I'm definitely not avoiding it hello to Karan Kareem once again also Beatriz mr. Duncan I'm so grateful to you you speak so much clearer that I can understand everything you say you are really the best teacher I've ever known thank you Beatriz you are welcome today unfortunately I have a slight problem <laughs> have you noticed what my problem is no it's not my brain <laughs> how dare you I'm having a little difficulty speaking because of my hay fever so if you are worried about my health don't worry please there is nothing wrong with you or me <laughs> let's have a look at some words shall we oh yes you know I love looking at words the English language is a wonderful thing and I'm so glad that you have an interest in something that I also have an interest in as well and that is the reason why we are all here together to share our love of English and to have a little bit of fun as well I hope I hope so so we have some words here connected to turn turn words connected to turn and there are many there are many words that we, we can use so quite often we think of turn as being an action something we actually do turn another way of describing turn is twist so if you turn something you twist something maybe you are opening a bottle like this so you can see here I have a bottle of water I will twist the top to open the bottle so twist turn you turn the bottle top you twist the bottle top 
so there is a very good example of the word turn twist you turn it round you twist something twist I like that I like that word <laughs> it's nice to say it's a very nice word to actually say here's another one rotate something that will rotate goes round and round it will rotate it will turn slowly something will rotate it will go round and round rotate ding rotate <laughs> ding oh revolve i like this word things that go round and round they revolve revolve something that turns around and around revolve like the earth the earth the thing we are standing on now is going around it is revolving it is slowly turning around well it seems to be turning around slowly but it is actually going at hundreds of miles an hour it's going quite fast actually so even though it looks as if the earth is turning slowly it's actually going quite fast all I can say is I'm very pleased that I can't feel the sensation of the earth moving. I think I would get very sick, to be honest. It must feel like being in a boat. Revolve the planet, the earth, slowly turns. It revolves. It slowly goes round. And that is why we have night and day. something will go round go round so you might go round an object you turn round you go round you go round the corner you turn the corner you go round go round the corner go round the street you are moving you are turning you are going round something round hello Guadeloupe hello also to Rosa I went to the hospital today says Guadeloupe to pick up the medicine for my parents and there were only five people and the and the staff the people working there it is good though that there are still places that are open for you to get your medicine and your things like that so here in much wenlock the chemist or the pharmacy in the town is actually open every day so it's very good very good oh turn around as well so something can turn around i can turn around like this I can turn around turn around so many of these phrases concern movement concern movement ba -ding! circle so this can actually be used as a verb circle so if you circle something you are turning around and around you are going around something you turn round and round you might circle you are moving in a circle you go round and round you turn round and round so that particular one is a verb you are doing it it is an action <laughs> there is a bee another bumblebee has come to annoy me did you see the live stream yesterday there was a there was a very annoying bumblebee and it kept buzzing around inside my gazebo 
another phrase and this particular phrase can be used in more than one way it can turn up turn up so in this sense the phrase turn up means increase increase you might turn up the sound on your television you might turn up the sound in your earbuds turn up increase you turn up the sound you make it louder to increase something is turn up turn up we can also use turn up to shorten something maybe you have a pair of trousers that are too long and they are far too long for your legs you might have to turn up the trousers to make them shorter so in this sense turn up means shorten you are making something shorter or higher than it normally is especially with clothes quite often with clothes <laughs> there is a bumblebee buzzing around my leg and it's very distracting I don't know why why do the bees hate me so much why do they hate me what have I done have I done something to to upset the bees oh turn up again you see turn up can also mean appear appear you suddenly turn up you may you might be waiting for your friend to arrive and then suddenly he will turn up he appears there he is he has turned up so in this sense turn up means appear you suddenly appear here I am mr. Duncan has turned up turned up I am here I have suddenly appeared I have suddenly appeared in front of you here's another use of turn turn in turn in so this particular phrase means go to bed if you go to bed we can say that you turn in it is time to, for me to turn in turn in you go to bed oh I'm feeling so tired I think I will turn in I think it is time to turn in it is time to go to bed turn in you go to bed another one now Bing. turn in hand over you might give something to another person maybe something that you have to give to someone else you hand in you turn in you turn in maybe you have some homework that you have to give to your teacher you have to turn in your homework you hand your homework to your teacher you turn in your homework turn in hand over you give something you give something to a particular person that you have to give it to turn in Ah, oh, Louisa. Thank you, Louisa, for your lovely, kind words. The bees will only come near things that are sweet. Thank you. That is a wonderful compliment. I might actually cry. I might. I might actually start crying. <laughs> Thank you. The bees will come near the honey. They will also come near me because I am as sweet as honey. Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying? Thank you very much. Turnover. Here's another word using the word turn. Turnover is your earnings. 
maybe you run a company so the money that you earn from your job or your business we call it your turnover the money that you make from your job or maybe from your business your turnover the amount of money that you make turnover so this doesn't necessarily refer to the profit this is just the amount of money that comes in the earnings the money that comes in you can turn in something as a delivery not normally no if you deliver something you might drop off drop off something or hand over you hand over something so normally if we make a delivery we don't turn something in we don't we don't use it in that sense it is just to hand something that has to be given but not as a delivery so you don't turn in the parcel you hand over you give you deliver here's an interesting one you may have seen this word if you are a reader of historical books you may have seen this word before turncoat interesting this is a very interesting word and this particular word is steeped in history turncoat a person who is a traitor so maybe you are on one team a certain team but then you go over to the other team or maybe you you join the enemy so you are fighting a war but then suddenly you will join the enemy you will change sides we can describe that person as a turncoat that person is a traitor they have decided to join the other side the enemy as I understand it this originated during the American Civil War I might be wrong but as I remember from my school days reading the history books as I understand it this has something to do with the American Civil War when people literally changed their uniforms they joined the other side <laughs> I'm, I'm sure someone will correct me I'm sure someone will say Mr Duncan you're wrong Mr Duncan you're so you're so wrong <laughs> if I am wrong please tell me turncoat a person who is a traitor they change sides they might go to the opposite team or they might join the enemy Ooh. turncoat can I say my turnover is 500 pounds from my work if it is a business that you are earning so your turnover generally speaking is the thing that you earn maybe from your business or maybe the money that comes in so you could use it if you are talking about your salary however we don't normally use it in that respect quite often we use it when we are talking about earnings from a business so you are having a turnover the amount of money that your business is generating I hope that helps turn on Ooh. now here is another phrase that has many uses one of them a little bit naughty turn on if you turn on something it means you activate it you turn on the TV you turn on the light you turn on something you activate it so maybe you turn on your phone in the morning when you wake up the first thing you do in the morning when you wake up <laughs> go away please don't fly around me <laughs> I don't know why the bumblebees seem very fascinated by me I don't know why so to turn on 
is to activate maybe you turn on the outside light maybe you turn on the radio you turn on something you activate the thing you turn on something of course there is the opposite there is of course the opposite <laughs> Ding! turn off if you turn off something then you deactivate so you turn off something the thing then stops working you disconnect something quite often if it is powered by electricity you will turn off the TV you will turn off the light you will turn off your phone you deactivate I like that word so the opposite of activate is deactivate you are turning something off turn off Here is another use of the word turn on. Oh, Mr. Duncan, you are so naughty. Ooh. Turn on can also mean arouse as well. Maybe you are walking down the road and you see a very attractive person coming towards you. They are really attractive and your eyes become very excited and so do you so if you become aroused by something maybe you are excited by something you see that is very beautiful perhaps you are looking at me today on your computer screen and you are getting very excited <laughs> I'm almost certain that isn't happening I'm pretty sure that is not happening turn on arouse someone you make them feel very excited by something they see you arouse Ooh, I have noticed something I have noticed something and it's making me very excited <laughs> hello to the live chat I will say hello to the live chat I don't want to ignore you just in case you become angry you might come round to my house and start to kick me up the bum in the garden hello Rose again hello also Berlin mr. Duncan in the case of the mobile phone is it correct to say turn on the mobile phone yes you can turn on the mobile phone you can activate your mobile phone you can also turn off your phone you deactivate it mr. Duncan do you have any advice to get rid of negative people maybe to ignore them sometimes in life you have to ignore what people say there are people who will try to steal your ideas or your dreams they will do whatever it takes to take away your spirit I say ignore them it is their problem not your problem so I always ignore people like that there are too many people around who want to steal your dreams they want to take away your happiness and they will do anything to make that happen but really they are the person who is actually spoiling their own life they are actually making themselves unhappy maybe they are bitter and unhappy with their life so they try to spoil things for other people as well my advice is ignore them ignore them oh turn the field over the past few days many farmers around the area in which I live have been turning their fields so if you turn the field it means you turn over the soil you are preparing to put some new crops into the field you are preparing to plant some new crops in your field but first of all you need to turn the field 
you need to turn it over so all of the fresh soil will be on the surface so we will we will call that we call it turning the field to turn the field is to prepare your field for some crop you will start to plant some new crop in your field headhunter oh sorry <laughs> did i say head headhunter head turner a head turner if something is a head turner it's something that is attractive something that makes another person look in your direction so maybe you are very attractive maybe you have some sort of attractive feature maybe you have beautiful eyes or maybe you have beautiful lips or maybe your nose is very cute you might be attractive maybe you are a model you might walk down the road and lots of people will look at you they literally turn their head towards you so we describe a person who is attractive as a head turner because they get a lot of people looking at them if you look at someone and you are attracted to them or maybe it is a thing that is attractive we can just describe it as a head turner a beautiful thing can be described as a head turner it turns people's heads towards you because you are very interesting hello live chat nice to see you all here today you might turn on your antibodies that's a good one yes your body has a lot of ways of fighting infection so quite often things have to be activated in your body you turn on a certain thing in your body that will fight infection for example you are right <laughs> hello Ithala hello Ithala please help me what is right does he live does he lives in Dublin or does he live in Dublin does he live in Dublin you are asking a question does he live in Dublin that is correct does he live in Dublin does he hello Natalie do you still have enough space in your right pocket <laughs> yes I do my pockets are very big in fact I'm not putting them in the pocket I'm just push pushing them down the front of my shorts and there is plenty of room in there plenty of room in my shorts here is a lovely expression using the word turn Hello, Mr. Blackbird. Huh. Huh. There is a blackbird looking at me. He's sitting next to me, looking at me. He's wondering what I'm doing. Here is an expression a turn up for the books. A turn up for the books. Is an expression that means a pleasant surprise something you weren't expecting suddenly happens maybe you win some money maybe something happens nice something wonderful occurs in your life we can say that it is a turn up for the books it is a pleasant unexpected surprise you might say that most surprises are unexpected when you think about it mm -hmm. yep. 
maybe there is a time in your life where you want to make changes maybe you want to improve the way you behave towards other people maybe you want to start afresh maybe you want to begin a new career or maybe you want to change your attitude to life you can turn over a new leaf if you turn over a new leaf it means you begin a new chapter in your life you try to improve yourself in some way you try to make yourself a better person you try your best to turn over a new leaf now in this sense it means page so in this particular sense the word leaf means page the page of a book you turn over a new leaf you begin a new chapter in your life you try to make changes in your life that are good and positive turn your life around you can also make improvements to your life we can say that you turn your life around you make improvements in your life maybe you improve your diet maybe you improve your exercise maybe you take more exercise every day you try to turn your life around you turn your life around you make positive improvements in your life <laughs> my shorts are becoming very full of pieces of paper <laughs> oh it's getting a little bit uncomfortable to be honest i hope i don't get a paper cut <laughs> Ooh, that might be very unpleasant on the turn if you are on the turn it means you are showing signs of aging you are getting old so if there are things that are happening to your body or maybe things that are changing the way you feel or maybe sometimes you feel old and tired you might say oh i think i am on the turn i think i am approaching my later years i don't feel as strong <laughs> hello did you hear that that was a little wren there is a wren sitting in the tree <laughs> hello <laughs> the birds are watching me you see the birds are very interested to find out what i'm doing maybe they are learning english maybe so if you are on the turn it means you are showing signs of getting old you are starting to get old you are on the turn maybe you are not as active as you used to be maybe you you feel tired quite a lot maybe you feel as if you have no energy you are on the turn you are experiencing a change of life you can turn circles if you are turning circles it means you are going around and around maybe you are wasting your time maybe you're doing something that has no meaning you are just turning circles you are going round and round you are going nowhere <laughs> quite often in life you might find that you are going around in circle or turning circles here's an interesting one you might turn a blind eye to something if you turn a blind eye it means you ignore something maybe you allow a person to break the law or do something bad but you pretend not to see it you turn a blind eye to something it means you ignore what someone is doing you ignore it even though the thing they are doing is wrong or bad you turn a blind eye you pretend not to see it 
you ignore it turn a blind eye to something I can't believe how many of these there are there are so many there are lots and lots my shorts are starting to get very tight because I'm putting all of the paper into my shorts and oh, it's, it's getting rather rather uncomfortable to be honest with you <laughs> you might sometimes turn your back on someone if you turn your back on someone it means you walk away from them you push them out of your life you decide that you don't want to know them anymore you turn your back on someone you ignore them you push them out of your life you literally walk away you turn your back you turn your back on someone turn your back on someone maybe a person in your life has done something bad and you don't like them anymore because of it you turn your back on someone ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> that is that is really getting uncomfortable <laughs> I hope I don't have too many more of these because there is not much room in my shorts there is not much room in my shorts oh here's a good one <laughs> here's a good one <laughs> this is something that happens to me sometimes especially if I if I suddenly get up from the chair very quickly I might have a funny turn oh 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 dear oh 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 dear me oh dear me oh if you have a funny turn it means for a few moments you feel unwell for a few moments a brief moment of feeling unwell maybe you feel dizzy oh oh I'm all right now you have a funny turn you suddenly feel unwell however it only lasts for a short time so it it only happens briefly maybe you are sitting down in a chair and then suddenly you stand up and maybe you your, your head becomes light and you have a funny turn oh excuse me oh oh sorry about that I, I just had a funny turn you might have a funny turn you feel unwell briefly <laughs> ooh. 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 Ooh, dear oh that was painful <laughs> you might turn back the clock oh we all wish that we could turn back the clock if you want to go back in time maybe there is a period of time that you want to live again maybe something you want to experience again in your life maybe you wish that you were young and virile and strong again sometimes we wish that we could turn back the clock turn back the clock we want to go back to our younger years we want to go back to a time in our life when everything was simple and easy when things were not so difficult you might turn back the clock of course you can also remember the past so if you remember the past you might also turn back the clock you might think about a past memory something that happened in your childhood maybe a nice memory you turn back the clock or maybe you go back to an earlier time you remember something that happened in the past and perhaps you wish that that time would come again you wish that you could turn back the clock 
Of course we can't. It is impossible. Time only moves forward. It, o it only moves forward. Time moves forward all the time. To feel unwell briefly. <laughs> you have a funny turn. <laughs> A turn for the worse if something takes a turn for the worse it means it gets much worse or maybe it is something now that is serious if you take a turn for the worse it means something becomes serious a person's health so maybe a person is in hospital and they are unwell and and you might ask the doctor doctor can you tell me how is he how is he the doctor might say I'm sorry he has taken a turn for the worse it means he has become much worse maybe the situation has become very serious you take a turn for the worse a turn for the worse something becomes serious Ooh. Let me just try to uh, I have to put this into my shorts, but unfortunately I think I am about to take a turn for the worse because I'm trying to put this into my shorts. Unfortunately, there isn't much room inside my shorts now. It is very busy inside my shorts. So let me just put this inside my shorts. Let's see if it will go in there. Oh, Ooh, dear. Ooh. I might have to go round the back. I might have to start putting them round the back instead. <laughs> There's no answer to that really, is there? Take it in turns. Oh, this is an interesting expression. If you take it in turns, it means you both have a go or you both try something. So one person will do it and then the other person will also do the same thing to share one thing you take it in turns maybe you have a new computer game but unfortunately only one person can play it at the same time or at one time so you have to take it in turns so first of all I will play with the computer game and then Mr. Steve will have a play. He will try to play the computer game as well. So we take it in turns. We both do it. We one person will do it and then the other person will do the same thing. We will take it in turns. Take it in turns. A turn for the worst, yes, is when something gets worse or serious. Francesca says, wow, guys, I actually fell asleep. <laughs> well, I always say that my lessons are very useful for all sorts of things. So maybe if you are trying to get to sleep, maybe it is very late where you are. You can listen to my voice and slowly you will drift off. You will eventually end up in dreamland. Oh, here we go. It's your turn to play. So again, we are saying that the other person can try the thing that you are doing. So I am playing the computer game. And now it is Mr. Steve's turn and I will say Mr. Steve it's your turn to play it's your turn to play you can now have a go <laughs> Abid says your lessons are really very useful thank you very much that's very kind of you Ooh. Ooh, dear how many more oh 
thank goodness for that there are only two more I'm very pleased this very pleased to see that because there isn't much more there isn't much room in my shorts to be honest with you do someone a good turn if you do someone a good turn you do something nice for a person maybe you do something that helps them you will do someone a good turn you will do a nice thing for them for example on Sunday quite often mr. Steve will go to one of our neighbors houses and he will help to maintain and tidy her garden he will do a good turn so quite often mr. Steve will do a good turn for the neighbor so you do someone a good turn you do something nice for a person an act of kindness is a good turn there is a great expression one good turn deserves another which basically means if you are nice to someone then they will be nice to you they will return your kindness so one good turn deserves another if people help each other then the world will be a much nicer place as I always say kindness creates kindness being nice being kind being generous being helpful it can help the world go round finally Ooh, thank goodness for that finally yep. it's all turned out okay it's all turned out okay if something turns out okay it means it has a good ending the ending is a happy one it all turned out okay turned out it all ended in a nice way in a positive way in a friendly way you might say that today's live stream turned out okay it all turned out okay because I was worried you see I was a little concerned because I thought maybe my voice would not last through the whole live stream but it has so it all turned out okay everything ended happily and nicely which is always a good thing so there it is the last one the last phrase that uses the word turn and this will now go into my shorts with the rest of all the words that I've shown you today Ooh. Ooh, that was painful Ooh. Ooh. oh I'm not sure if I can walk now oh dear Ooh. that is rather uncomfortable to be honest with you it is almost time for me to go oh my goodness I only have four minutes before I have to say goodbye I can't believe how quickly the two hours has gone mr. Duncan if you are too tired please if you are if you aren't too tired please can you tell us the secret to get a relationship to last for a long time the secret of a good relationship is communication I think that's it communication you must always talk to each other if there is something that is worrying you something that is on your mind always share it with your partner and always tell your partner that they can share things with you so I always believe that in a relationship communication understanding is probably the most important thing because when you stop communicating that is when the relationship starts to break down things start to go wrong so that is really my simple answer to that question 
communication never stop talking never stop sharing your thoughts it all turned out okay it sure did it did definitely Rohan hello Rohan nice to see you here mr. Duncan did a good turn for all of the English learners you are right thank you very much that's very kind of you to say guess what I will be back with you tomorrow I can't believe it I will be with you again and apparently yesterday yesterday was my 30th live stream without a break <laughs> I can't believe it I have done so many live streams this month so we are only 22 days into April but already this month I have done 31 live streams in April I can't believe it so many so many live streams thank you for your company today thank you to Rohan thank you Anna thank you also to Noemi thank you Noemi don't forget if you like it if you like what you saw today give me a nice thumbs up on the screen and you can do it underneath all you have to do is click like and then YouTube will allow more people to watch my videos that is how it works you see that is how YouTube works Francesca says I am very sorry for falling asleep it is all right maybe you needed to have a rest it's okay no problem all I can say is I'm glad that my lesson helped you relax I'm glad it helped you some people do they listen to my voice to help them sleep I don't know why <laughs> I have no idea thank you Beatrice thank you Rona thank you also to Irene thank you Julie G thank you also Rohan of gun I mean it from the bottom of my heart thanks a lot you are welcome no problem no problem you are very welcome I'm back with you tomorrow from 2 p.m. UK time we are now approaching four o'clock here in the UK in England it is now four o'clock thank you Marcia thank you for your company mr. Duncan keep enjoying this beautiful day I will I will make a cup of tea for mr. Steve and then maybe we will sit outside and listen to the birds thank you very much Moheen Adrian thank you for today's live stream I hope your voice will recover I hope so as well I hope my voice will come back tomorrow thank you dear teacher yes I've done 31 live streams in 22 days I don't know how but it's true I have mr. Duncan you have done a good turn thank you very much thank you to TS thank you Beatrice thank you also to Irene thank you Karan Kareem thank you also to everyone else <laughs> mr. Duncan who gives you your life can you answer and the creator of this earth thank you Karan Kareem I haven't got time for that now I can't talk about that it's a big subject but I suppose from my own point of view personally I would have to say I tend to listen to science there it is there it is there is the big one so I tend to go more towards the Big Bang Theory the big explosion in space and then millions and millions and billions of years of everything happening and then one day I appeared it's amazing and here I am now sharing a little bit of my existence 
with your existence. Isn't it great? It is wonderful. So there you go. You asked the question and I answered it and I answered it honestly. I am going now. I've been here for two hours. Two hours I've been here and I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget 2 p.m. UK time. I will be with you tomorrow 2 p.m. UK time tomorrow I'll be back with you and of course it is Thursday tomorrow Thursday does anything special happen on Thursday <laughs> I can't think of anything I can't think of anything to be honest thank you Francesca thank you Andy thank you Palmyra thank you very much I am definitely going now I'm going to have a lovely cup of tea Mr. Steve and me we will sit in the garden and listen to the bumblebee thank you very much for your company thank you Kian what kind of watch are you wearing oh thank you very much this watch was given to me by Steve and it is a special kind of watch it is made this watch was made in Lithuania it's a Lithuanian watch <laughs> thank you very much to Peter see you later thank you Constantine thank you very much I really must go before my voice stops working also I have to empty my shorts because they are very full of paper and I really don't want to get a nasty paper cut down there to be honest and of course until tomorrow 2 p.m. UK time you know what's coming next yes you do from England to you remember you are not alone I will be with you tomorrow we can share this strange time together 2 p.m. UK time tomorrow and of course until then yes of course you know what's coming next to tar for now. Oh, oh, ow, ow, oh, that's so painful. Ooh.